day, morning, wherever you are. Hopefully you had some good sales. Hopefully you're healthy, all that good stuff. We are shipping out. Um, this is two days worth of sales. So a lot of people have, if you're watching this later, you're going to see the beginning of this. I might mention this again throughout, um, but I have one to three days shipping. The reason for that is because I like to have a little bit of wiggle room with my shipping, having kids, coaching, everything, you know, life stuff. Um, but I usually ship, ship within one day. Today was two days, so 48 hours worth of stuff. So we're going to be shipping 21 eBay orders and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 Poshmark orders. So shout out Auto Posher big time. Shout out Auto Posher. Let's go live over here on Instagram too. So good morning, Nikki. Thanks for coming in. Nikki, my sister-in-law name is Nikki. So just for the record, I hope you're having a good day. TK, what's up this morning? Okay, so we can talk. I'm going to start off with um, very cool, right? Very cool. We can do Poshmark sales first or let's do eBay sales first. So eBay is going to have a lot of retail arbitrage stuff. Poshmark is zero retail arbitrage. Poshmark is all thrifted items. eBay, there's quite a bit of retail arbitrage, a lot of that dick sale stuff. Um, but there's still good things to talk about, like brands, Cotopaxi, stuff like that. I bought new, yeah, but those are brands to be on the lookout for, stuff like that. Hello from Washington State. Green, it is early there. Three hours before us. Man, you are up in Adam. I don't know. What do you do for a living? Dang. Uh, good morning, Posh Tick. What's up? I can't call you Tracy's Pot. I got to just call you Posh Tick. What's up, Diggs? Donna Diggs. Good morning. Um, I'm tired uh, from Epcot last night. Donna, you're in Disney? What the heck? This is for you. I should wear this just for you tonight. Epcot, this vintage Epcot Disney. Look at that. Is that thing not ridiculously sweet? I would look like a goon, but I should wear that for you. No? No? I don't know. I'm just saying. Congratulations for being in Disney. It's my favorite. You're retired. Well, good for you. Waking up early, getting your cup of coffee, that sort of thing. Should I do it? Should I wear it for Donna Diggs, Epcot? Good for you, Donna. You know me. I don't care. I'm goofy. For the record, when I taught PE um, during the pandemic, we had to make videos. I made a YouTube channel for Pike, for the township I worked for, and the kids would work out with me. So I'd make 20 to 30-minute videos, and, you know, they were uh, students that were wheelchair-bound, all that stuff. So we had, like, canned food goods, all sorts of stuff. Long story short, I dressed up in – uh, Buzz Lightyear costume. I dressed up as Mr. Invincible or in, Invincible, right? All those things. Jack Sparrow. I don't care. I was so, I'm the goofiest dude on earth. So that's like with the low crowds in Disney this week. Have fun. Low crowds in Disney. That is good. That, yeah, this time of year, boy, I bet they're going to be kicking up next week for sure. Crowd listing on Autoposher right now. Reisner. Guys, I'm telling you. If you are just now popping in here, I'm telling you, Auto Posture has been okay. So you know, I'll know I've had Auto Posture for forever since since like last I don't know May, but this but now cross listing is starting to sell on Poshmark. I never sold on anything else but eBay, but now I'm selling on Poshmark because it's so easy to cross list. It does all the shares and automates and stuff. I had what I say twelve sales. Like four of those sales paid for the whole month of auto posture. So auto posture has been huge for me. I don't know about you guys' views, but it's been huge for me. Um, Freaking love auto posture. And cross testing is coming out to like people who are new to auto posture in like a week and a half or two weeks. But I, I'm telling people, I talk to like, get in it, start putting your stuff in, get all your stuff loaded up so you can, when cross testing comes out, get in there and get cross testing. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. TikTok is quiet this morning. Good morning, Mary. Getting to it today. Let's go, Amy. Um, Nicole, I'm glad to hear Posh is showing up for you. Nicole, Poshmark is showing up. And listen, I can look right now and tell you how many. I think I have 900 items listed out of my 1,500. None of them are retail arbitrage. And I need to do, what, what 600 more? But I'm going to start Macari. I think I'm going to get Macari... It, I already got a name. I already got it going. I'm going to research Macari a little bit more. As soon as I get back from spring break, which is like the first, the 
first or second week of April, I'm going to start Mercari. So I'll have Mercari, um, Poshmark, and eBay going. eBay is my full-time job. 15 items at least a day on eBay. That's my full-time job. And Poshmark cross-listing and Mercari will be my side hustles. So if you are over there on Instagram, I see you. You can give me a thumbs up or say hi. Um, yeah, catching a live, one of my favorite YouTubers. Natalie, there's no way. There's so many better YouTubers than me. I appreciate that, but you're just being too kind this morning. Um, Macari is my number one for selling. Nikki, that's what I, that's that's why I'm live. To, to, to Not to hear that you're my favorite. It's to hear that Macari is the best. So now I'm like, okay, I'm, my next side hustle could be better than my regular job, right? So let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm ready for Macari. Tips on selling foreign designer pieces. Found a Brazilian new with tags. Um, Adriana degrees a swimsuit yesterday. Okay, Mindy. There are a lot of brands that are foreign. Um, and you'll look at comps and they'll be sideways. They'll have like a tilt to them. And they're because they're all sold overseas. You just have to look at comps and list it. If you can't find a sold comp like it, it's it might be a little bit tougher sell here. It hasn't become mainstream here in the U.S., so that would be what I'm what I would suggest. Um, I sent you a message on whatnot about co uh, college class I'm creating. I would love to to get feedback. Sure, Dr. Heather. Um, I will check my whatnot. I haven't checked whatnot messages because um, I don't have a whatnot right now. I'm gonna have one in April. All spring stuff. All top notch ladies stuff. Can you cross us? to Macari in a couple hours. You can, Felix, you can cross us to Macari. Yeah, I bet I could cross us to Poshmark in a couple hours. I, I just need to sit down in front of the TV and, and do it. But people like Felix and all those other YouTuber and people like Bearded and Kway try to get me to play Fortnite. I can't do it. You are my favorite. Stop it. Y'all just stop it. Macari is not worth your time, Brad. Yes, Andrew, you're saying that, but then I get people saying it's worth my time. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm still your number one fan, bro. AZ, you've been there from the get-go, my guy. You've been there from the get-go. Um, thank you. It's uh, class on how to do what you do. Sure, I'd love to do it. As a former teacher, I'll I'll do whatever. I'll talk in front of whoever. I don't care. I uh, just sold kids Todd's World shelf for $250 on eBay. Bought for $5. I have no what the deal with that is, but... That's that's something. Yesterday, I found an American Girl doll for three ninety nine or something. Like, you got, you got we got to get outside. I put on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I just put a little like ten second short. You don't always have to buy from thrift stores. You don't always have to do clothing. There's tons of things you can do. I'm shipping out golf, uh, whatever covers, hats. So don't be limited just because you see people like me or whoever do just clothing. There's a lot more. What's up over there? Lindsay, I see you. Nice hat. I know, right? Um, Jen is at Disney. She went to Epcot yesterday and she's wore out. So I'm wearing this for her. Good morning. You got a rally visor on. This, yeah, this, we're just going, man. We're just, we're, we're arming. Uh, have you used Posh Sidekick? I haven't. So what I've just been on Poshmark, on Auto Posh, I turned on the shares. I turned on the offers. I turned on the follower stuff group shares, all the stuff that auto posture has, I turned on and it's getting me sales. That's all I know. And and really my favorite thing, I'll get to it later, is it's selling stuff that I've had on eBay for a long time. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. I just have no idea what why that is. Uh, may I catch up? Uh, I have a quick question. If you spend $50 at Goodwill and make $150, how do you know what to save and what to spend? Um. So your initial $50 can, it's up to you. If like when I taught, I put 100% of my business back into reselling. Every once in a while, I'd pull some out to vacation or whatever. But um, you want to keep, you know, you made $100 profit or ish, let's say 80 after fees and everything. You want to make sure you keep a little bit for taxes or whatever. But um, you can take your initial 50 that you spent at Goodwill, put it back into the business put some more back in the business. And then if you want to take some more and put it uh, in a savings or whatever, that's up to you. I put almost all my money back in my business and then I pay myself out every two weeks. I don't buy anything for myself really. So that's up. You will, you will slay Mercari bread. Jay Licious. Why do you say that? What, what do I have in my store that's different from others? 
Um, I don't do women's clothing because I do those on whatnot. What? Why do you think that? That's my American Girl doll. No, it's not, Casey. That's mine. That's mine. I'm going to clean it right up. All right. You are a teacher. At some point, I need uh, instructors. Hey, listen, I don't want to go back to... to I don't want to go back to having to have to do anything. Um, number one, you guys know I don't, I don't, I'm not doing any courses. I'm not doing paid mentorships. I have a free group on Facebook. It's awesome. Um, there's a lot of people in there. It's like almost 10,000 now. It's free. I just, like I said, maybe it's because of public education. Maybe because there's so many people out there that do. Their goal is to get on, get a following, and then have people pay for them to coach and stuff. There's just too much free information on there. If you watch Kway, you watch me. We are the same mindset when it comes to that. There's just, too, just it's not going to do that. So, uh, the point is, being a teacher, I don't want to have to have to do anything. I don't want to have to do a podcast. I don't want to have to do, like, rely on someone for me. Uh, two days in a row, live, crazy. I know we went live thrifting yesterday. Usually I do Wednesday lives. Next week I'm going to take my dad thrifting, guys. I'm going to call him. We should call him together in a little bit on speaker. And listen to his voice when I ask him if he wants to go thrifting with me next week. He will be so excited. Um, car shipping costs are a tad more. Okay. So I'll need to factor that in. Yeah, that's why I said I'm going to do some research. A little bit more research on Macari. I'll do it on my own. You guys don't have to uh, type stuff to me. But I'm going to do a little research. Figure it out. You know, so do I need to add a little bit more money when I cross list over? On Poshmark, I'm adding a couple more dollars to my items. Some some of them. Um and some of them I'm dropping the prices because I'm like, oh my gosh, I've had that forever. One of these items, I'm going to sell it. Thrifted uh, Filson Rain Bidge. Oh gosh, for nine bucks. It's currently out of sight for 385. Let's go, Ryan. You had me out Filson Rain Bibs. You had me at Filson, but Rain Bibs, you really had me. Good morning. Do you buy wholesale bundles or not? So Flip City. What's up, Flip City? Um, Wholesale bundles, I do, but not very often. I don't find that. Um. What, what I do is I'll find um, at brick and mortar stores and I'll go in when they have big sales wholesale and I'll just buy a whole bunch of stuff. I'll get online when there are big clearance sales, like right when they send out an email or at 12 a.m. in the morning or whatever and buy a whole bunch of good stuff that I know will sell just from experience. I showed that box yesterday on my Instagram. It was a short. So um, watching from, oh my gosh, what is up, Mr. Sun? Please, I need your help. Okay, um, let's see. Love your dad thrust with you. I know, Donna, it's fun. Really, really appreciate you. What percentage um, do you save for taxes? Casey, um, what I do, honestly, for taxes, I don't save a percentage. I So what I do, again, I put everything, my everything I make is in a business account. I pay my business credit card with it. I pay myself my two-week paycheck out of it. And this just keeps getting bigger. And so this one account, when my taxes are due, I'll draw from this account. So I just roll this account into a bigger snowball. And that way I can do a big bulk buy if I need to. If I need to go spend a ton of money, we don't need to talk numbers. But if, if something comes up and I need want to spend a ton of money, I can. Um, that sort of thing. So, But I, I would say generally, I mean, whatever tax bracket you're in. Casey, if your husband's making $500,000 um, a year, you're going to be in a higher tax bracket. You're going to have to save more money. FaceTime dad, bro. He's going to be sleeping. Old boy's retired. Uh, what is a ton of money? Felix, like a percentage of what you have. Do you guys want to do Poshmark or eBay first? Let me see in the chat. Let me see the chat. eBay is going to be a ton of retail arbitrage. Poshmark is no, no retail arbitrage. It's all thrifted items. You guys let me know. Let me know. Are you able to pay yourself a stable wage or is it variable? Nope. I can pay myself a stable wage. So basically my wife and I have a joint account. We pay all of our bills out of that account. Kid stuff like, you know, home bills, grocery bills, everything. We both have our own bank accounts. Mine's my business account. Hers is her, I guess her business. I mean, her paid teacher account. We both put our money in and pay our bills out of that. So if I want anything, I can buy it. If she wants anything, she can buy it. And we don't get any arguments because it's our own money, right? Um, eBay, Posh, let's see. Posh, eBay, Posh, eBay, Posh, 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 we're doing Posh. Okay, first one to five, we got it. All right, Poshmark sales, there's 12 of them. 
let me get my phone out and we can talk about how much it actually sold stuff for because I never really do that. So let's do that. Um, let's do the first one. I mean, you already know it's going to be Polo Ralph Lauren. And to be honest, the stripes don't do as well for me, but I guess it does. It sold for $20. So sorry back there on YouTube and Facebook. You guys can get a good idea. It's just a Polo Ralph Lauren striped shirt, size 2XL. That could be it. Um, but it sold for 20 bucks on Poshmark. Um, I don't even think there's an awe. I just think someone bought it straight up. I'm not really sure how to tell that. So $20 for this on Poshmark. Um, let's see. How easy, is, how easy is it to hook up to eBay to auto posture? Oh, my gosh. I don't have a business policy set up and can't uh, cross us yet. Thanks. Bobby loves to thrift. It literally, I'm telling you, I'm going to come out with a little video today. I'm going to post it to my YouTube and probably my Facebook. Um, but it's going to, it's, I can't redo it, but it's literally 60 seconds. You give, you give auto posture your credentials for eBay and just say, I, I let auto posture have my credentials. It imports all your items from Poshmark or eBay, which you can do all of them. And then you can start right off the bat. You can start doing this off, send off offers, all that sort of stuff. Once a cross lister comes out here in a week or two, then you can do that. But my recommendation is get it, go ahead and import all your stuff. It's a click of one or two buttons. Again, it's one of those things where you're not married to it. I have a link on surfsupfinds.com to get you $5 off your first month. Um, you'll love it, but if you don't, you don't have to keep it. No one's forcing it to, but it's super easy, Bobby. Super easy. When do you start separating your accounts, uh, personal from business accounts? I've always done it. I started six months ago, uh, and I'm still using my own money to build my inventory. What's up, Barry D? Thanks for the roses. Um, Mary, I've done that. Really, our whole marriage is when I I've done that. Um, our whole marriage, I've done that. And then before the marriage, um, I wasn't making a ton on eBay. Well, I was making a decent amount, but a lot of it was consignment type of stuff, big items. What percentage of your sales get returned for a refund? Um, I think I have a 3% return on eBay, and almost all of those, probably 90% of those or more, are it just didn't fit, and they pay for shipping back to me. I don't pay for shipping. So I just refund them the cost of the item. They have to eat the shipping both ways. I found you through K-Way. How much profit do you try to make before you pick up an item at the thrift? Elizabeth, really good question. Are you putting it in a priority mailer? No. Look, see, I'm so new. Tam, look at you. Okay. So we sold something on Poshmark, right? Everything, I'm, I'm new to Poshmark. Everything can go on a priority. I didn't. I put it in my poly mailer. So I just wasted 10 cents, right? Or what, however much those cost. Uh, the question was that I really, it was a good one. Um, found you through K-Way. Tell K-Way what's up. Um, how much profit do you try to make? It just depends. For example, that shirt I just showed you, that Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. Um, I can take pictures of those. A lot of you guys know this. You'd be like, I wear surf stuff. You talk about this, but there are always new people. I can take pictures of those and list them in, in two minutes. I have a video of me doing it. Um, I just take pictures and then do sell similar and ch change the color and the, the pictures and it's sold and it's listed. Um, so those, my minimum Profit is $10 after everything. Profit, minimum. Um, if it's something that's going to take me four or five minutes, it's got to be like a $20 profit item. So so I guess you could say for like every two or three minutes, I want to make at least $10 profit if I can list that item, if that makes sense to you at all. So when I was doing it part-time, I didn't have as much time. That wasn't something I was picking up. That's something I started doing once I became full-time. Uh, nice shirt, thanks. Is Woolrich a good pickup? Javi, it just depends. Roll, Woolrich, what's up, Javi, by the way? Woolrich jackets that are like vintage buffalo plaid. You want to look really heavy, heavy, thick Woolrich. What I recommend doing is look up men's Woolrich on eBay. Click used, then sort it by highest. Look, Click use sold listings, then sort it by highest selling um, item price to lowest. And then look through the first few, scroll through the first few pages and teach yourself those are the things you're going to be looking out for. You can do that with any brand. What's up, Amy D? Next item. Under Armour Tactical Pants Buried. Under Armour Under Armour Tactical Pants 
they have a rip stop in them. So I'll show you guys rip stops. It's that little, that little like square on there. They have little bitty squares and it does exactly what it says. It stops rip. So if, a, if you rip your pant hiking or whatever, it's not going to rip all the way to your butt. It's just going to stop to rip stop. So I do like picking up these Under Armour tactical pants. They're a lot like 511 if you're familiar with that brand. Those sold for paid five dollars. So almost everything. My buy cost for all my thrifted items is five twenty five. So my buy cost for all my thrifted items is five twenty five. Sold these for twenty six dollars on Poshmarky. And I'm gonna send all this stuff out in one of these Tyvex envelopes. I have about five thousand of them. Um, Amy D. Uh, I'm using a. I'm using. I'm using the Crow Sister. It won't let me because I don't have business policies set up. I'm scared to mess with my eBay trying to put business policies on eBay. Okay, Bobby. So what you can do is bulk edit, bulk edit on eBay. You can. You're just gonna have to navigate it. it. Might take you a little while to figure it out. But go to your your listings. You can do bulk edit, and I didn't know this until Bearded told me because on my Poshmark. My descriptions on eBay are basically my policies. I just put, I copy and paste my policies on all my listings into eBay and my description. That description was too long for Poshmark. So when I cross this, that I had to go through and redo, like cut out all my description. What you can do is go to bulk edit on eBay and you can change your policy for every single item. Pretty sure you can do that, Bobby. Um, what's up, Banza? Banzin? What's up, Banzin? Danita, what's up, Danita? How you doing? All right. Those sold for $26. $26. We'll put it in the right thing. Next item. Um, Vineyard Vines Murray shirt. Perfect for, perfect for Easter. So let's talk about this shirt real quick. Real quick. This is a gingham check shirt gingham check so anytime you see that sort of like picnic pattern it's gingham check and this is a murray shirt so the whale shirts have that little hit right here the little hit if it's a murray shirt it's got the little whale thing down here so it looks like a regular shirt no one's going to really know it's vineyard vines so murray shirts go for a little bit less a lot of times people wear vineyard vines to show they're wearing vineyard vines I have a little hit. So this one for $17, I paid $5 for it. Priority mailer, priority mailer. Come on. Remember. Um, good morning, Trisha. What's up? I cited my dear blind uh, Tyvex mailer. I cited my dear blind. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. Tyvex because they make Tyvex and so Tyvex, this is a Tyvex mailer. Tyvex is the material that they use in this. Dew point Tyvex. So that's why we call it Tyvex. DuPont. DuPont Tyvex. So yeah, you probably did do your thing in Tyvex. It's rain resistant. It's like a rain proof. If this gets rained on, it's not going to get messed with. It's kind of like rain proof, rain resistant. And I never have a problem with these opening. Very rarely do I tape those. Very rarely. Rip stop stops the rip. Felix. God dang it, Felix. Ah. <sighs> Can you just make fun of me on Fortnite when we talk and not in front of everyone else? Good gosh. This is a Banana Republic cardigan. Mr. Rogers cardigan. Happy to get rid of this. I think it was uh, an offer and someone countered offered. Like Auto Posture sent out the offer and someone counter offered. Uh, and I just took it, I think. Sold for $23. I paid $5 for it. Happy to sell that because I'd be able, I'd be holding this till next year. Next winter season. Headed there in June. Love the hat. Thanks. Oh, to uh, Disney in June. We went in June one year. Oh, man. Have fun. Disney is my fave. I'm wearing this for Jen. So anyone that's new in here, Jen just went to Epcot yesterday. And so I had this vintage Epcot hat right here. I'm wearing it for her. Where's the S? Buried, what are you talking about the S? You talking about the S2000? I sold it. So, breaking news in the reselling world, reselling world, not only do I buy and resell, I, I buy and resell anything. I'm just whatever, a peddler, a hustler, whatever. So, I bought an S2000, a car in 2018, knowing to go up in value. 
I really should have sold it two years ago when interest rates were nothing. I would have gotten more, but I still got more than I paid for it. So I sold that over the week. Um, when I sell that, uh, I sold that at the end of end of last week to make money. So we're ready. Oh, Tyvex, my bad. Uh, can you discuss shipping on eBay, please? I'm just getting started uh, to cross post. Sure. Um, I got you guys over there. So shipping on eBay, I'll tell you what, stick around. We're going to do eBay shipping after this. We're doing Poshmark now. I'm going to do Poshmark. This is a no-go. No, Bolo, whatever you want to call it. They're mint hunter shoes. So hunter as in, whoops, men's like hunter, like the boots, like the women's boots that are really popular, the rain boots. These are uh, men's hunter shoes. They're leather. I thought these were a good buy. I picked them up for probably like six, seven, eight, nine bucks. No, they sat forever. So they sold on Poshmark for $9. So I, I probably lost money on those, maybe a dollar or two. I don't know. Sometimes it happens, even to the best of us. Um, business plan means returns and shipping policies. Yeah. Um, yeah, returns and business policies. You can totally go to bulk edit, I'm sure, on eBay and change those business policies. And it would probably take you 20 minutes, if that. It amazes me that you sell junk clothing and make money. P.O. Derek, right? But it's nickel and diming. So you start off slow. You sell a little bit. You make 100 bucks a week. You keep the ball rolling. And then you make more money. However much. The sky's the limit, right? When I was teaching, the sky wasn't the limit. You get capped out. The harder you work, you didn't make any more money. Kids kids love you, which I love, but you make any more money. Why did you use Primordy Mail over Ground Advantage? Why do you use... So everything, Mary, we'll get to that on eBay. Everything right now is on Poshmark. Everything ships out priority on Poshmark. So that's why I'm doing it this way. These are going to go literally in a bag and right in that box. And they can bundle and fiddle fart around in there all they want. I'm not going to put any padding or anything in this box. They don't need it. Tyvex, not Ty, Tyvex. Oh, I, I don't know. Whatever. Tyvex, whatever. These envelopes right here. These are the bomb. These are the bomb. DuPont. Hey, I, I said DuPont, right? I bet more people don't know how to pronounce that than I do. Um, thanks for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome. Right? Anytime. Uh, Hunter, Hunter has a Target brand. Those were leather. Those were those were not. I don't think those were Target. I just think Hunter boots. Hunter is popular in what they sell the best of. It's women's rain boots. I don't even think those do as well anymore. I keep on trying to pull off. Um, what did I do with the? Uh, there it is. I keep on trying to pull off my eBay labels. It's not what I need to do. Love your energy, Meg. You know I have energy. I don't even have my energy drink down here. Um, Surf's is great. Thanks. You guys need to quit it. I'm not even going to read those comments. Appreciate it, but no. Um, Brooks running shoes. So I love picking up Brooks running shoes. Brooks running shoes. Women's Brooks running shoes. As long as the bottom have decent tread, they sell well. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, everyone, for the gifts. They sell really well. So... These are launch, and launch are typically um, less expensive MSRP than some of the others, only because I bought Brooks for myself. And these sold for $35. I paid $8 for them. You can see on the bottom, there's an eight. I don't mark off the number. So $8 for those. These are going to go out in a priority box because it's sold on Poshmark, right? You can do that. I appreciate you helping Information Insight. Hey, you're welcome. No problem. And it's free. Someone actually messaged me. Hey, sir, so when you when is your whatnot show? I'm waiting to buy the Lulu top you bought the other day. I will schedule it. It's going to be in April. I have a lot of spring stuff, guys. Think about it. You know how I hoard stuff? All so much spring stuff. I mean, you name a good brand, and it's there, spring wise. Lulu, Viore, all it, all of it. Um, so let me get this. But someone messaged me, and it's totally fine. I get it all the time. I'm sure um, a lot of people do in the reselling community, but, you know, do I do private mentorship? I said I don't. 
You just gotta you gotta catch my lives. You can watch you can always watch these lives later on YouTube. If you follow me on YouTube, you can watch these lives later on Facebook. Um, you can watch these. But no, I I don't want to take people's money for that. I'd rather take like uh, rather take the thrift store's money or uh, like YouTube someday. Maybe I'll take their money someday. I'll make like really good videos. Uh, just picked up some super nice Brooks last week. Yeah, there you go. See, Meg, you know, Brooks sell well. Brooks sell well. What's up, Momo? Good morning. Uh, I want some Viore for myself. I never find it at the thrift store. Casey, fact, I found some yesterday. Sorry. He, with the American Girl doll. Same store. Um, all right. Let me see. Um, uh, Poshmark, you can use any envelope except uh, for Express. They are free. Yeah. Thanks for answering that, Bobby uh, to Pope. Um, what up? I watch you all the time. First time I caught you live. Ryan, what's up? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, let me turn that down. Um, thanks for popping in. If you have any questions, let me know. It's hard to set up. Uh, is it hard to set up on Autoposture the auto D list uh, on the Crowl Sister? Thanks, Bobby. I'm telling you, so easy. I have a video on. It's it's a video that says Autoposture. It's on my lives. If you go to YouTube on my lives you'll see it's maybe three or four down you'll see all my lives of auto posture i go through the whole thing i'm gonna make a video today and put it out too so hopefully that'll help out but it's everything's super easy super easy uh morning dixie i love dixie um you keep um you keep on buddy a lot of great information. hey yeah i keep keep on buddy a lot of information zeb thank you appreciate it love what you're doing is auto posture ready Auto posture is um, it's it's active. You can import all your stuff, sharing, all the all the good things. Send out offers. The cross listing will be out to the public soon, but I would recommend go ahead and get all your stuff in there, get ready because when the cross listing came out for me, I went ahead and just did everything. Like I said, I have a five dollars off on searchoffinds.com. I made a website, guys. I made a website, but it's gonna be a write off, right? It's gonna be a write off. Um, those Brooks. What the heck? Those Brooks sold to, hopefully to Judy, because that's the one. Yeah, sold to Judy. $35 for those Brooks. I paid $8. So questions are hopping this morning, which I'm fine with. I'd rather answer questions than actually text stuff, to be honest. Um, Lucky Brand jeans. Lucky Brand new with tags jeans. Lucky Brand, just they've taken a hit. Um, but these are new with tags. And I bought these at the thrift store for $7.99. And... Uh, that's it. They're a really good size. They're uh, 40, 40 uh, waist, which is good. Can't find that size very often. Um, sold them for 27 on on Poshmark. Probably someone took an offer that Auto Posture sent them. Auto Posture has a TikTok channel, and they have videos to answer comments. There you go. Auto Posture is on TikTok and on Instagram, so you can follow on both. What is on your head, Grammy? This is... A vintage Epcot Disney visor, obviously. But I'm wearing it for Jen. I'm wearing it for Jen. She just went to Epcot yesterday. She needs she needs a little help. What's up, Jay Right. <laughs> hey, your visor's on the upside down. I know. It's for Jen. I caught if you guys don't follow Jay Ride too, you guys were asking about or you were talking about different people to watch. J Ride flips. He's on YouTube. Right now he's on, um, he's live on TikTok, but he's got a ton of information. He doesn't do a lot of packing live, so like he does a lot of behind the scenes, business oriented mind. Um, I a lot of items to pick up that are different from mine. I clothing is abundant where I live. He gets a lot of hard goods. He gets a lot of media, a lot of baseball card, a lot, just a ton of different things. Video, get all that sort of stuff. Really good uh, person to watch. Um, on all those channels. So give them a follow. Probably best place is YouTube to watch this stuff. Um, we will see the next item is, and I think he just recently started Poshmark too. Next item is Polo Ralph Lauren hat. These hats do really well for me. And they're only 99 cents where I live. Just these Polo Ralph Lauren hats. 99 cents into 13. Um, it's sold on Poshmark. I'm fine with that. I mean, $10 profit for a hat that takes that quick to list i'll take that all day um 
Okay, let me answer. Uh, I don't have a store on eBay right now. I've been relisting and listing. I've been relisting old listings when I don't have merchandise to list. I'm poor. So I have four free listings left uh, for the month. Will eBay give me more listings if I had uh, a store? Are you talking about, Eric, are you talking about insertion fees or actually like able to list more items? If you're not able to list more items, you can call eBay and ask them, hey, I've been on here listing stuff. Can I get more? Can I have more items to list or uh, more whatever they would call it? Um, and try to offer that. If you're talking about um, insertion fees, the ones that are, I don't know how much they are. Uh, I'm not sure, but you can go to eBay and look at the different stores and see if one of those makes sense for you. There's a whole range of price prices and and how many insert or how many uh, items you can list a month for free with the store. All depends. Uh, what is his name? Uh, yeah, someone just tagged him up front. Jay Wright, you don't need to thank me. You already know. I don't. I don't shout out people who don't have good uh, content. And a lot of a lot of his stuff on TikTok don't take too seriously. It's just for fun. He's kind of kind of his personality like me, like funny, just stuff that's funny. Um, but there's a lot of good information too. All right, so this is going out. This is not going out in a free um, box. It's going out in one that I got from my eBay store. By the way, when you get an eBay store, for a lot of the stores, you get like fifty dollars every quarter for packing supplies. So this is a little hat box. Um, I always put hats in a box just because I don't want the bills to get folded. So that's why I do that. Um, especially if it's a newer hat, this is not, but, uh, that's okay. Keep looking for this right here. Brooks brothers blazers. Where can I find the size? Um, some of the older ones don't have sizes. So what you'll have to do is measure from pit to pit and then double that number. So if it measures 22 inches across while button pit to pit it's more likely a 44 so a lot of the old brooks brothers don't have size the new ones do the old ones do not so that's what you got to look for uh your bins look full grammy i just reorganized like a week ago right so you on tiktok see this is my bin system it's really nice right now um my, i just reorganized so everything here are polos and summer type stuff and right next to me are shorts and then in the back corners are like flannels and sweaters and stuff that aren't going to be selling a whole lot from now on until next fall uh good morning terry uh, i get 250 free a month what's normal for a reseller i'm not sure i i have a 59 dollars store i know that because it just did my taxes and i pretty i get unlimited i list 15 to 20 items a day and i get unlimited pretty much so it's, it's my hat in a box. Amy, that's what I'm talking about. It's my hat in the box. Ha! Name that. I'll just, I, I'm not going to say it. I can't. I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get bananaed. All right. Saturday Night Live skit. You guys know. All right. This is a football jersey or soccer. Uh, but soccer is the most, um, the most popular sport in the world. So if you can find authentic soccer jerseys that are from a brand that is sponsoring the team or I don't know if it's sponsoring the team, but whatever, like Adidas, Nike, whatever, not if, if this was a Manchester United soccer Jersey and the tag said Manchester United, that's not, that's a, like a knock. That's like a sell outside the stadium Jersey. You want ones like this that say Adidas or whatever on them. Uh, this sold for $20 over on Poshmark. We're doing Poshmark sales right now. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what size is that box? Um, this is an eight by six by four. So eight by six by four boxes are perfect for regular hats like this that don't have a flat bill. If you have a hat without a flat bill like this, this is a perfect box. Eight by six by four. You can get you know wherever you get your boxes from. But if you have a flat bill, you're gonna have to get a little bit bigger box. You're going to have to get a bigger box for that hat. <laughs> I know. I know from experience. Um, next one. We got to, we got to finish this. This is that $20 for this. Pay $5 again for that one. 
I'm sorry. Uh, J. Wright, always good info, Grammy says. If you're still in here, J. Wright, there you go. Um, this is short. This is a sh uh, shout out and thank you. Auto posture has been a great tool and worth the investment. Yesterday, I found my first double RL shirt. I am jealous of you right now. Uh, rare denim square snap. Oh my gosh. At Goodwill. And I don't even know if I would have recognized it if it weren't for your stream. So thank you. You are welcome and congratulations, Shane, because that is a brand you're not going to find very often. I mean, I don't think I've found it more than 10 times thrifting ever. Um, such a good find. Congratulations. Uh, if you want to, to show your appreciation to me, um, just DM me and I will take that off your hands. I'm just kidding. Uh, halfway. Uh, I'm switching to cardboard box of storage, uh, open top. Yep. I've seen a lot of those, Grammy. So the storage system that are cardboard boxes with the open top and you can kind of shuffle. They almost look like a card box, like a, yeah, like a card box. Uh, what is the size of the box for the hats? Just, uh, uh, thanks so much for all the information. Good morning. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, when you get started, uh, when did you start getting daily sales? Good question. I think it really depends. It's going to be depends on your inventory. If you can pick up really good stuff every day at the thrift store on your way home, you can get sales every day if you price it competitively. But I would say Kway always says 500 is when he really started to see a Kway says 500 is when he started to see consistent sales coming in. Go ask him later on when he's live. He'll tell you the exact same thing. I don't know for me. I really don't remember. I don't remember. I just remember clothing started to sell for me and I just consumed as much information as I could to pick stuff up. <clears throat> and I just listed, sold, listed, sold, listed, sold, kept track of my numbers, knew in the back of my mind, if I'm buying it for five, selling it for 30, I was making money because I've been doing eBay for a long, long time selling antiques. So I really don't know when I have consistent sales. I just picked up good items. If you pick up good items and sell them at the right price, you'll have consistent sales. What I like to do is buy my items cheaper than everyone else and then undercut everybody by a little bit. That's what I like to do. I know I'm bad. Who's K-Way? Amy D says, who's K-Way? I don't know. He, I don't know. He's a little, little guy. He's just a little guy. Speaking of little guys, maybe he's a leprechaun. He is Irish. Who knows? All right, another sale. Um, actually, we missed one. Um, $33. So these are some Silver Tab. Silver Tab is one of my favorite Levi brands to look up or to find to resell. Sorry, everybody. We got to show everybody. Silver Tab. This is actually a newer -er Silver Tab. Like, not the best selling Silver Tab. You can tell always by this strip right here. If it says baggy... Uh, Hold on a second. You guys know I usually have my stuff. I don't know where I put them, but if they say baggy, um, they're real like baggy with the purple. Usually they're really good. Uh, but these sold for thirty three dollars, and I paid seven ninety nine. So I'm not going to complain about that sale. Because yes, um, does it cost more uh, to offer international shipping on eBay? Nope. So we'll definitely do eBay here in a second. These are all posh sales, but no. Uh, literally, it's a click of a button. It costs more for the buyer because they have to pay import fees and all that sort of thing. But that's not on you. It's never, to be, on, be, be honest, it's never been easier to ship. Did I not put? Oh, I know what I did. I took two. I did. I remember I said, we skipped something. Okay, this is going out to Brandon. All right. So it's never been easier to ship stuff international. It used to be really, really big headache. Let's just say that. It was a big headache to ship international. It's now a click of a button to do it. The one with Justin Timberlake. Tracy, you already know it. You already know it. Um, does it cost you more international? Good morning, Mongoose. What's up, Mongoose? Good morning. Uh, thanks for popping in. Good morning, Take Me. Good morning. Uh, I just want to say hi to everyone. Hey, uh, I'm a Carmel. Uh, these Nike shirt prices are $10. Yeah, Sean, stay away from Carmel. Sean lives in Indianapolis area. And uh, Carmel, you're going to – Carmel's the rich part of town, really, in Indy, and uh, the wealthier income part of town, and they price all their stuff up. You can't – they'll slip. Stuff will slip by. 
like those little one-off Nordstrom brand type stuff, but all their Nikes priced up to 10 bucks, all that sort of stuff. So I don't even mess with it. What's on my head? Kelsey, this is for Jen. If you're just now joining, Jen went to Epcot yesterday. I said, you know what? I have an Epcot hat right here. I was wearing the, the you know, the good old hat, and then that popped up. Again, Poshmark. I haven't had, I've, I've had this listed for almost two years. This Johnny O, I don't pick these cotton up anymore. So Johnny O cotton, I don't pick these up anymore, even at $5, just because they're slow sellers. Slow sellers. This sold for $16. I paid $5 for it. It took a long time to sell. I only pick up Johnny O's that are performance now. Um, Poshmark people keep asking to email them. Scam, yeah, 100% scam. All those numbers and emails and all that, nope. Don't even, don't even, you, as soon as you see those long, nope, nope, don't answer them. Um, anything that's not like specific to your item, if, especially if they're like, we really like your item. Can you please da 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 da? No. They're, they're not being specific enough. I don't, I don't mess with that. Not with your time. Um, $20. Okay. In the fall, this would have sold for probably 30, but listen, this is a flannel. Um, by L.L. Bean, but it's lined on the inside. This would have been a $30 sale probably in the fall. But I'd rather right now, I just, I took a best offer. One of those things where, you know what? I'd rather have that $20 now. Go buy some good, better stuff. And actually, these have kind of fallen off a little bit. Uh, usually, these sell really quick. I got you over there on Facebook and um, YouTube. I see your questions coming in. So, we're going to get this out the door. So, 12 Poshmark sales. Is that what I said earlier? Poshmark, I'm telling you, Auto Posher has been, Auto Posher is killing it for me. That's all I got to say. Got my rally cap on. That's right. Got my rally cap. Um, Play Polar Ralph Lauren. Polar Ralph Lauren, yep. Uh, your hat upside down. Use the free bag. Thanks, Carter. I got you. Free bag right here. This one I will give a little bit of tape. Three-inch tape. The best. Once you go three inches, you never go back. That's what she said. Actually, she she probably did not say that. Um, but three-inch tape. Sorry if I offended anyone with three inches. Um, okay, let's go over to eBay sales. So Poshmark's out of the way. eBay sales. We have two more sales that just came in, so we might we might get to those later. Um, but before we get to the sales, I definitely want to answer your questions coming in. Stop. I know I need to quit with all that. So what's up, big sweaty? I see you over there sweating all over my box. Um, 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 um you wouldn't, if you just came in, you don't understand that, but you know, Saturday night life skit. What's your stance on Harley tees? Do you pick them up? Good double R brand. Good morning, sir. What's up, Christina? Okay. Back over to the comments. Um, what is the double R brand? Double R is uh, Ralph. It's double R. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren brand. Just look up. Um, gosh, it's my favorite freaking brand. Ralph Ralph Lauren. I, it's just double R. Double R. Um, it says it's an RR brand. I wish I had one down here. I think I do actually. Uh, maybe I sold it. Nope. Maybe I sold it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. So you're welcome. This is showing you I do not gatekeep. This is double RL. This is what you're looking for. This stuff sells for a lot of money. Go on ralphlauren.com and go to the double RL stuff and look how much money that is. And you're going to be like, holy, I'm looking for that every time I thrift. That's, that's what you're going to say to yourself. What is your stance on Harley tees right now? Do I pick them up? I only pick up vintage Harley tees now. Vintage or um, like a Sturgis or a really big size. But Harley tees, our thrift stores are like, oh, we're going to price those up to 5 to $10, which is a joke because they sell less now on eBay. So they price, they're price pricing theirs more in eBay. They're selling for less. So I don't buy Harley t-shirts really anymore. They used to be good like five years ago and prior to that. Uh, do you get lots of repeat customers? I don't, Katie. Katie, I don't. And on eBay, would tell me if it's a repeat keep a repeat customer. I don't. Um, very rarely. I would say like one to two percent. Um, I have nine hundred Grammy. 
Um, I have 900 plus and have been every day selling since uh, January. Same as when I started listing every day and promoting at 2.6. Right, right. Uh, Jay Wright recommends 2.6. All right, so back to consistent sales. Grammy is saying she has 900 stuff listed a day. And do I put measurements and listings? Okay, I'll answer that one here in a second. Um, and she gets consistent sales. As long as you're listing every day, she has 900 items in her store. She gets consistent sales. You should at 900. Are you using auto posture to cross list to Poshmark? 100% not a. Um, again, if you're just not watching this, talked about it earlier. I'm going to do a video too later. 100% auto posture all the way. You got 12 Poshmark sales with all the sharing, everything. I'm a huge fan of auto posture. Like I said, I do. You will get a discount if you use on sourceoutfind.com. There's literally a link that says um, $5 off auto posture. Highly recommend it. All right, back over here. Uh, I'm set up for auto posture. I'm trying to figure out which bundle to buy for cross listing. I've reached out to their customer service and they are telling me um, doesn't seem accurate, accurate, but I'm assuming it is just a uh, user error. What bundle do you use in cross list on auto posture? Because I have a 15,000 or 15, 1500 item store, Victoria, I get the biggest one. So obviously i like the biggest one no um obviously because i have so many items it makes sense for me to have the biggest one because i'm going to cross list i have the biggest one because i'm going to be cross listing so many items every month it's my full-time job especially starting mercari but if you have like a 200 item store or 300 item store you probably don't need that size um the entry level if you don't cross list is I think around $35 where it does like all the automation, the automatic offers on Poshmark, the D-list, the relist, all that sort of stuff. If you want the cross-lister, then it goes up as in price as far as how many things you want to cross-list a month. You get credits for cross-listing. Jaylicious, you're smiling. Jaylicious, did you? Um, I know you use the three inches. I know I do. <laughs> this is also my, in my, all my, I don't sell you guys anything, but I'm just telling you, on my website, surfstuffinds.com i'm so professional now i have this in my what i use it's on amazon I'm telling you it's the best tape the best um when you un when you unlist seasonal items do you have to start relisting them from scratch dos i don't ever unlist anything seasonal so i i'm a seasonal seller i keep all that stuff here and it's currently listed in my store and it continues to delist relist through auto posture throughout the year I never take it down. I, I leave everything up, all my jackets, everything. I never take that stuff down. I just don't list any more of that sort of item until that season comes back. So I have enough inventory usually to last me for four years. Now I've had enough inventory for, to last me all the way to September 1st to list summer and um, spring items. How do you get free shipping supplies on eBay? Um, I'll help you with that. Good morning, sirs. I'm loving out of posture. Good. Auto Poshmark, um, I'm in the cross listing too. Poshmark sales continue to blow up. Proof right there. RX Vintage, loving Auto Posture. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's everyone does. It's, I don't have to promote it really. Um, thanks for not gatekeeping, for sure. I'm not gatekeeping. Um, I will gatekeep on a couple things. I will gatekeep on a couple things, but I'm not going to tell you what that is. Um, it's not brands, it's not stuff you thrift. Past month, I've, bumped listings from 150 to 225 ish last three weeks i'm getting between two to four sales a day so there you go 150 to 225 two to four sales a day so i don't know what consistent means to people when do i get consistent sales um two to four a day is consistently selling every day so 100 150 to 225 items i'm sure you're you have good items stuff that we talk about we sell i talk about okay we talks about everyone talks about um what eBay level store do I have? The $60 a month one. Again, I only know that because it's just in my taxes. Is Posh Shale, is Posh Share Jail a real thing? Monica, it was for me for a minute. It was for me because I just started on Poshmark and I just started using Auto Posher. So I just started listing 10, 20 things on Poshmark and I turned on the share on Auto Posher and it was sharing like thousands, thousands out. So Poshmark thought I was a bot. I literally just messaged Poshmark. They said, we're sorry. We thought you were a bot. Um, your account's reactivated. So it literally was an email. It took like a half a day. 
how many photos oh i want to get to the measurement question um how many phones or tablets do you have running right now to stream so many sites so i have something called restream again i pay for that um but it's a right off the end of the year so with restream we're talking on facebook youtube and instagram right now and then TikTok, we're on uh just the ipad so any secret selling success on uh, Poshmark, I would say auto posher or an automation that shares and recreates your items. Um, so you're happy with Poshmark and AP cross -lister. Yeah, Tam, totally happy. Totally happy. Love it. Um, I think talking to a lot of people that have had both, um, I think you're going to find out that they like auto posher the best. Um, I'll let, I'll let those people talk for themselves. Well, auto posture delist from eBay for you. Yes. So auto posture has an automatic delist. Um, so if something sells on Poshmark or Depop, it delists right away on everything. It's called um, auto detection, auto delist detection or something. Um, but yeah, you sell something somewhere, it delists on all the other sites. So you won't sell that item twice. That's huge. A lot of a lot of places don't have that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing around. Adventure to you. Do you have do you have auto posture? Um, you don't know what you're doing around Poshmark. You're in, if you have auto posture and sharing and everything, I couldn't tell you because I just started. Three inches, take it or leave it. That's what I'm saying. She didn't say that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, measurements on how I do measurements. Let's do a little. Let's do a little chat really fast. A little chat. So measurements. I do all my measurements flat lay on the ground. I do all my pictures on the ground, um, flat lay. You can do it. You can make, I've seen people make um, something waist high where they do flat lay. I love doing flat lay. I've done hanging. I've done all that. Everyone do you. I like doing flat lay and I put my measurements in the pictures. So the, the what I wanted to talk about and discuss is how you can make your listing process go quicker. What are, what are, what are places inside the process? What different, what different processes in the process of listing hold you back and slow you down. One thing could be measurements. So for me, measurements, I take pictures of my item. I take measurement pictures and I list the pictures. I don't write down measurements. I don't put measurements in my item descriptions or in my item specifics or anything. That saves me a ton of time. I take pictures of my measurements and add them to my pictures. So that's what I do to save me time. Um, is it maybe you're using a digital camera and it's taking you a lot of time for the cloud to go to your computer and maybe you can do it better from your phone or vice versa. So what things can you do in your listing process to speed up that listing process? Um, little there, because there are a whole bunch of little sections in that process. What can you do to make it go faster? How do you feel about tags on listings? Uh, what do you mean, Victoria tags on listings? Um, more specifically, um, sir, you ever had heard of, uh, Scoot Scotland? I'm not sure you're Sean, if you're in the thrift store right now, um, you're going to have to look up that stuff on your phone. Um, look up comps on your phone. Uh, sorry, my bad. I'm really behind, really behind. Oh, wow. Any secrets to selling success on Poshmark? Um, I canceled out of Posher. Um, and my Poshmark sales plummeted. Now my email store store is killing it. Okay, so there you go. Poshmark auto posher canceled. Um, Poshmark sales plummeted, but eBay store is doing well. So yeah, I uh, there's a testament too. Um, is Jerry still here? I'm not sure. Um, any secrets to selling says Poshmark? Jenna, I think I answered that one. Poshmark has a video on that. Um, auto posture has a video of that I think on our Instagram. Yeah. Follow auto posture on Instagram. You'll see all that surfs. Um, your testosterone is showing today. Giggle, giggle. Jaylicious. You always know how to speak to me. Um, any secrets to selling Jenna? Am I missing now? What's up? Annie's attic. Annie's attic. I saw you say hello earlier. Hello, Annie. Congratulations on being full time. I know it wasn't what it, it just got thrown at you. Um, but you're making it work. So you're making it work. Congratulations on making it work. And um, I'm, key, I'm, I'm in your corner, girl. I'm in your corner. Um, when, whenever I became full-time, it was definitely a struggle for me to quit my job. Uh, but 
I, I, I knew I knew when the right time was. When dropping prices, do you just relist or revisit the listing? So Stephanie, usually by now I'm pretty well versed on how much stuff goes for, but I'm not perfect. So like those hunter shoes, if I right now is a perfect example. While I'm cross-listing my items, I'm going through each individual item. If I see items that are that I've had for a long time, I'm automatically going to eBay, dropping the price, and then on auto posture or on auto posture. I'm crossing it to Poshmark at a cheaper price too. So, but if I go in a bin, like let's say I go in, I'm like looking at these new with tags Levi's. I'm like, these have been listed for over a year. I'll just hop on my phone and drop the price right then and there. Um, okay. How do you tell auto posture not to sell an item lower than you want? Um, so how do you tell auto posture to sell an item? Turn off the offers. You can turn off the offers um, on auto posture. So auto posture automatically sends out offers. You can turn the offers off or you can turn the offers on and decrease the offer. It could be 2% if you want. Um, you know, if someone gets a 2% offer, they, they might be like, oh, that's nothing. But you just don't have to send out offers. That's on eBay or on Poshmark. Can you cross list on auto posture? Yes. So auto posture, I'm currently in the program and people who have signed up, but um, yes, if you set up for auto posture now here in like two weeks, you'll, you can upgrade to the uh, cross luster. It's awesome. So love the hat. Thanks, Eric. It's for Jen. Those of you who just came in here, I'm going to keep saying that because you think I'm an idiot. Uh, not a Prada. Love it. Thank you. I see you over on Instagram. Uh, if I open a Poshmark account, will auto posture auto automatically cross list all my eBay listings? So you will have to do that. So like me, I didn't have Poshmark. I just had eBay. Um, I waited for Poshmark until I got a cross-lister. Um, and what I did was start a Poshmark account, imported all my eBay items into Auto Posher, and then I just cross-listed my items. Um, you have to go in and cross-list them. Uh, it doesn't take long. How many do I list today? 15 to 20 items a day. Hey, did that one? So gotta... Good luck. Good luck, Sean. Um, uh, no, uh, it's for advance. My Goodwill has 40% off tomorrow. Lucky you, Avi. We don't have any deals like that. What does auto posture cost? And, um, can you start the same and can you start the same as eBay or start the same day? Yeah. So user go to searchupfinds.com. There's an auto posture link. Click on that. It'll say automatically like your friend gave you $5 off and then you can go through the pricing. And you can see what it offers. You can see if any of them make sense for what you're doing. So that's that's what I'd recommend. Um, ba, 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 ba. Light blue, white uh, shirt. Uh, how do you feel about tags? Oh, light blue, white shirt, man brands got you. Um, in the in the got you, Victoria. Yeah. So in the title, I always put the brand first. Um, usually I'll put the brand or I'll put men's. I don't know. Usually I just put, go to my eBay store and look at what I put in my sold listings. But I usually just put the brands, what someone would look up. Um, let's say double RL. So I'll put double RL and I'll put RRL. Um, flannel, Pearl Snapped, Men's, 2XL, Multicolor, or an, I might not bought Multicolor actually. I might put like blue or gray or whatever. Something like that. And I don't use all that. I know people will say use every single um, space that you can on the title. I don't in a lot of mine. Sometimes you don't need to. I mean, if it's just cut and dry, boom. Everything about listing shows me, uh, everything about listing slows me down. Truly. I, I, listing sucks, okay? We all know it. I, I wish listing took two seconds. That's what I'm doing today. So um, listing sucks. But it's a part of it. But it makes up. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's part of it, right? Um, just got to make it faster. Make it more enjoy enjoyable. That's why I only sell women's stuff on whatnot now because I didn't like listing women's stuff. I find enough men's stuff to list. I don't like listing women's stuff, so now I sell that on whatnot. Basically, for as you guys know, I don't care how much it goes for. I buy it cheap, sell it cheap. So what I do, I, what did I do? I stopped listing women's clothing. Um, I know if there's certain... if. If you're in a thrift store and there are certain items you know are going to take you a long time, like a blazer, if you're like, oh, the comps are $40 and I can buy this for 10 
do you want to spend 10 minutes or so listing or taking pictures and listing that blazer? I don't know. I don't know. And do you enjoy it? I don't know. It might not be worth it. Uh, do I sell on Depop? No, but I can. Um, that's another one. So Auto Posture has eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. Depop will be the last one I do if I do it. Uh, everyone says they appreciate you, Jaylicious. They appreciate you. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, thanks. Is there a good video on certain brands to look for that sell better than others? Jenna, that's what this is all about. We're going to start doing our eBay orders right now. So there are a ton of videos. If you go on YouTube, there are a ton of people that just make bolo videos. These are the brands to be on the lookout for. Tons of people do that. I don't make those type of videos. Uh, maybe it's because the teacher me that's just like giving answers away. And I give answers away, but I like to do it and talk about it. And things change all the time. So I don't pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren blazers, but I do pick them up if they're gold button and silk in a really big size. So there's always caveats. Also, when you watch those bolo videos, make sure you're watching ones that are up to date. Don't watch one from two years ago because a lot of those styles could have changed by now. What is your eBay name? Everything surfs up finds. If you go to surfsupfinds.com, I have my eBay store attached. Don't buy anything. It's just there for you guys to look at my listings, look how I take pictures, look at my pricing, all that sort of stuff. And I have everything else on there. So you go to surfsupfinds.com. How many will I list today? At least 15, probably more than 15 today. Listing feels like freedom to you. Does it, Donna? Does it? It feels like freedom? Does it feel like freedom to you for real? It feels like freedom because you're getting rid of your death pile and you're freeing yourself of room. Okay, on to eBay. We're, we're shipping out 21 items. Gosh, lots of talking today. That's okay. Cotopaxi. This is a brand you want to keep on your, your eyes out for. It's a Bolo brand. See, we're talking about Bolos um, in these lives. Cotopaxi is a good brand. You can find that for $5 cheaper. If you can find it in wool, down, anything. These are new with tags um, from that Dick's big buyout sale. Again, a lot of these I'm talking about, I'm selling for cheaper because they just made so many of them. They flooded the market with this colorway. So that's why I bought them for so cheap. I bought these for $5 and I sold them for $24.99. Uh, $24.99. And I'm going back to these because we're on eBay now. Good morning, Gladys. What if I sent you $37? Then can I get that list? Nope. Desi, nope. Desi knows. Desi knows what's up. Nope. We ain't doing that, Desi. We don't do that around here in Indiana. Us Hoosiers, we're kind. We do stuff for free. She's a fellow of Hoosier, except for Boiler Up, everybody. See, I don't know when Purdue plays. It could be today or tomorrow. But um, let's see. Mm, what about you? What would you do when you sold a pair of Justin boots um, and the buyer sends a message asking for a photo of wearing them? True story. Jennifer? Oh, man. I'd say I can't do that. They're packed away. I can't do that. They're they're um, in the in the inventory system or in the inventory right now. I can't take them back out and try them on. I don't do that. I've had people weird questions like that every once in a while. But yeah, that's weird. Maybe they see your picture. I don't know. I'm a dude that no one wants to see me wear anything. Um, great tip. Thank you. You're welcome. I have an old Poshmark account. I can't figure out how to change my name. So it's the same as my eBay. Um, I think, Mary, I'm pretty sure you can change your name on Poshmark one way or another or in the account and start a new one. There are people that have multiple stores, so you can start a new store if you want. Uh, do you provide free shipping on all your items or charge shipping? Good question. The other Mary um, on YouTube. I charge shipping for everything. Everything charge shipping. So what I do, I typically underprice my eye or undercut everybody and then charge shipping. So I do charge shipping for everything. Um, and return... I have no free returns. So I sound like a really mean grump right now, but I'm getting sales. Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, this I bought a whole bunch of them. They were donated to a mom and pop thrift store. They were all new with tags. They were $7.99. And what I'm going to say about this Polo Ralph Lauren is it's a performance. It's a performance Polo Ralph Lauren. They, these always sell better because they're stretchy nylon. I want to make sure I take the tag off. I wasn't lying. $7.99. I remember how much I sold these for. Or bought these for. That's what I say. Surfs, uh, I have them winning the whole thing in my bracket. Uh, have I lost my mind? I don't think so. 
I mean, last year they were a number one seed and they lost the first game to a six or fourteen, a really bad seed. Um, your bro Lil Wayne just went live too. Oh, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Lil Bro. We'll go rate him here in a minute. Um, let's see. This sold for forty or thirty nine ninety nine. So I have these at thirty nine ninety nine. I paid seven ninety nine a piece for them. Again, what I would tell you is Polo Ralph Lauren performance sells really well. If you can find Polo Ralph Lauren anything with a nylon spandex blend, something like that, it sells really really well. Kissing cutie, yes, kissing. Oh, I had to I have to give you a kiss. Everyone needs a kiss, you know, in the morning, right? A daughter, wife, you guys. Can you change your Poshmark name? Has to be the desktop through. Cannot do it on mobile. Okay, so you can. Thank you for answering that. You can change your Poshmark name, but you have to do it on your desktop, not on your mobile device. It's going to Jacob. Just making sure it's going to the right person. Next item, another retail arbitrage. I really don't want to talk about the retail arbitrage stuff too long because it's not thrifted. But these are Patagonia. Obviously, Patagonia is a good pickup. Um, bought these for around ten dollars and sold them for thirty-two ninety-nine. Um, again, uh, the point with a lot of this uh, retail arbitrage is you guys have to be able to know when those sales go on, whether it be online arbitrage or retail. So when are the big sales at Marshalls? When are the big sales online? When are the big sales at Kohl's? Whatever you're selling, what, if it's hard goods, when are the big sales? You want to you be in the loop and you want to be the first one in line just like it would be at an estate sale. Um, are you located in Indiana? Yep, Jamie, I'm in Indiana. I live in the Indianapolis area. Um, so yeah, don't provide free shipping. Do not. Uh, do you drop your packages off the post office uh, or drop boxes and leave them uh, to get picked up? Um, really good question. I drop all my stuff off at the post office. So I have a P.O. box there too. So I check that every time I'm at the post office. Um, and it's on route to my daughter's daycare. Um, I like it just it's just in my schedule. I also don't want to leave stuff outside my house. I just um just for me, it's not something I want to do. Um, I like doing it and dropping them off. You guys know I bought a whole bunch of cleats at the same exact sale. So those for $25, bought them for 10. These are the cheapest selling cleats that I have. Um, I do put these in a bag. I just put the cleats together. You got a lot of you guys that watch me have known that. Okay, here's a thrifted item. Thank you for your posh answer. Uh, I will have to buy a computer or laptop someday when I can afford one. Mary, um, you could probably go to the library or go somewhere, use someone else's. Just log in on someone's computer and then just don't save your password. Just use someone else's computer. Go to the library or something like that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do you promote uh, new Ralph Lauren? No, I don't promote any of that new Ralph Lauren stuff. Nope, I only promote my Ralph Lauren shirts that are those $20-ish button-up shirts. Um, do you pack your items with anything or just put them in the poly mailers? Javi, I just put them in the poly mailers. So like this is a Peter Millar Summer Comfort. I literally listed this and it sold the same day. I think it's because there's no hits anywhere on it, no golf courses, no little logos for anything else. That sold the same day, $22.99. When I first started on selling clothing on eBay in 2016, these were $40 used all day long. They're not now. They're not now. And you know what? We're all finding Peter Millar more, right? But guess what? Selling for a lot. Roebuck, G4, Grayson, those sell for a lot more money than this. Um, and we don't find them as much, do we? So, but I can imagine here in about three years, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to be finding all these brands that sold for so much more money. And then they're going to be selling for $22 like Peter Millar. And then there's going to be a different brand out. And guess what? I'm not going to show you the address, but this is going to Peter. This one is actually going to Peter. Peter Ma uh, Peter Millar. Bet you can't do that. Love the hat, Dusty. I know you do. Jen is in Disney. She's in Epcot. That's why I'm wearing it. Do you promote a uh, new Ralph Lauren? Do you have your items with anything? I just put them in. Yeah, so you saw me. I just fold it, put it in the poly mailer. So I just fold my items. I put them in the poly mailer. Um, I've been doing that ever since I started. Ever since I started. Um, yep. I've never had any negative feedback. So here's a bad birdie. Again, retail arbitrage. But keep your eyes out for that brand right there. That's a Bolo brand. Bad birdie right now is a golf brand that's on trend. Um, and in three years, it might not be. But right now, it is. I bought these for $11 a piece and I sold it for $39.99. But 
these are oversaturated. This model was oversaturated. That's why I found them on clearance. It, a lot of times these can sell for in the 30s used. So just keep that in mind. Write that down. How do you find trends? You just gotta you gotta you gotta follow Kim Kardashian for one. Um, you gotta follow Kendall uh, Jenner. All the all them people. No, you just uh, watch stuff like this. Stay in the community. Um, I really can't answer that question really well, other than just I constantly sell. And I listen to other people and I watch content and they're like, hey, these are starting to sell for me. Uh, embro embroidered skater jeans that didn't used to sell, like, well, they weren't skater jeans, but South Pole jeans, stuff like that, that are wide leg from Y2K, all that stuff selling now. So that's why I pick up. Uh, write that down. Yeah, there you go. I got to start cross listing my clothes on eBay. Yes, got to start cross listing. Get that auto posture. Auto posture is cross listing coming out soon. Thank you for a posh answer. Yep. I'll have to buy. Oh yeah, I read that. Uh, if you use custom label, if you use custom label item specifics to create my SKUs, would that hurt my items in search? No, I don't think so. Flipping. So if you're talking about like, you can actually put it in your item specifics, right? So if you put them in item specifics and do your SKU, that won't do a thing to your item in search. It's it won't mess you up one bit. I think more people do that than not. So. Sold a couple of golf head covers. These are from 2003. That's the Ryder Cup. So what we'll gain from this, what knowledge we'll gain from this, is whenever you see this logo on polos, even if it's older, that's the Ryder Cup. That's the U.S. first, I think, um, like great the U.K. or something. But it's a really big golf tournament. It's the Ryder Cup. The polos will sell for good money. Um, they're on all brands. They're on all brands. But what I'm going to do with these I'm going to put these back to back. I'm going to put them in a poly mailer because they don't fit my freaking priority box. So I'm going to put them in a poly mailer and then I'm going to, I'm going to tape these corners. So they're not so pokey. You know what I mean? Do I ship internationally? Yes. Peter Millar has tanked. Peter Millar has fallen off. I agree. It still sells though. I still will pick it up, but I leave a lot behind. Be careful. There are a lot of Peter Millar shirts that, that are overstretched. So be careful. Guys, go check out his eBay. A lot of your questions will be answered. There you go. Yeah, Dusty. Um, if you go to surfsupfinds.com, I attach my eBay store right there. Not for people to buy stuff, for people to look just as an example. As an example of someone who sells as much as Dusty sells. Dusty's a six-figure seller. Um, so you can go look over there. Dusty and I joke around. PGA in Louisville this year. Oh, Annie, PGA's in Louisville? When it was in Indy, Indy was packed. We had the BMW Championship, which, by the way, if you guys ever have a PGA champion, a PGA tournament in your area, for example, we had the BMW tournament here in Indy. So, so I find that stuff still at the thrift stores, and it sells really, really well. Because we had it here, so many people bought it or got donated or whatever, that stuff sells. So there's another tip. Um, versus Europe. Okay, Eric Gates is versus Europe. You're right, because I have some head covers that have Italy on the side of them. So that's why it's kind of, yeah, so it's versus Europe. U.S. versus Europe. Okay, so what I'm doing, like I said, I'm taping up these corners so they're not so pokey. You know what I mean? This one's going to get an extra tape. But keep your eye out for that. Indianapolis is last stop on Hot Rod Power Tour in June. Okay, Hot Rod Power Tour. Are you talking about like cars, hot rod? Because I like hot rods. Um, Kelly, what's up? I have a five star rating and sold a pair of motorcycle boots. Buyer gave me two star rating because they said they were separating um, at the sole. He didn't bother to ask for a return. He just let the sale go. Um, gave me a bad rating. I know for the fact that there were issues in the shoes. Should I reply to it or just go on? Um, where? What? What platform was that on, Kelly? What platform was that on? I'm guessing that was on Poshmark. If it's on Poshmark, I don't think it. I don't think it matters. Um, answer, help me out. Yes, cars. Okay, so you all know my surf truck. You know, I'm gonna do some videos out of that once I bring it home. I'm gonna bring it home soon. There, that is. Okay, those are packed up. Sold those together for fifty three ninety eight. Fifty three ninety eight. I bought those for less than ten dollars a piece at that Dick sale. So I didn't just look for clothing at that sale. 
How do you set up international shipping? Javi, you go to your eBay and uh, uh oh, I see blue hearts. Uh, you go to uh oh, what's up, blue collar? Blue collar, send me blue hearts. I can't send blue hearts because that's his thing. Oh, look at that, it's so cool. Um, blue collar is awesome. Give blue collar a follow. I'm gonna tag him over here on TikTok. If you don't follow him, he is also a reseller and he goes live all the time now again and uh gives out a ton of content and he does a lot of hard goods so not the same stuff as me you got to be well versed right if you can go to a thrift store and you know these this, these were all 7.99 i'm just going to go ahead and pack them again polo ralph lauren new with tags bought these for 7.99 but our learning from this is performance again polo ralph lauren performance sells really well you know it because it stretches no because it stretches um were you a middle school social studies teacher? I was not, Eric. I was not. I do love history. I love social studies. Mercari. Okay, Kelly, let's ask the chat because I don't sell Mercari. If you get a two-star rating on Mercari, guys, is that a bad thing? Should she worry about that? Or should she just forget it and move on? This sold for, by the way, this sold for $42.99, bought it for $7.99. I have three of these to pack, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um... History is the best. I love it, Sean. Yeah, I love history. I'm a history dude. You guys know I have. I'm a nerd. I have all those antiques collectibles. I need to do another one, right? I need to do another uh, video. I did the one on the Gipper. Do one on someone else or on something else. I have. Uh, I never worry about two stars. That's the first thing I've heard so far. Never worry about two stars. Uh, if she has many five stars, don't worry. You can't please everyone. Just one bad apple. Does that help out, Kelly? Um, I don't think the rating matters on Mercari. Forget about it and move on. There you go. I like it. eBay can be a little bit different, um, but yeah, th there you go. And, and eBay is negative reviews, right? So I would just not worry about it and move on. Sounds like that's the case. Ratings don't really matter there. Is there a way to scan and check books for value? Yes. I think it's called Scout IQ. I don't remember... But there's a device you can use. It connects to your phone, and you can go in the thrift store and scan for books. But I can tell you here in Indianapolis, they do that in the back. So I already know. I've talked to a lot of the people. Um, obviously, there's probably going to be some books that get by. But here in Indy, they scan books in the back. So most books that go out, um, they've already checked them. So, But if you go to a different type of sale, yeah, there is an app for that. And uh, – you could probably even use your phone, but I know there's a there's a little thing you connect to your phone that basically like makes it a lot quicker. I never got into the book thing. Other than when I was in college, I would sell my uh, used books on Amazon. All right, another one of those sold for uh, forty two dollars. Going to Curtis. Da, 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 da. Reading doesn't matter on Mercari. Okay, so Kelly, it sounds like it doesn't matter on Mercari. Mom's neighbor gave me her whole library. Okay. So, yes, you can get on eBay if you want to and use your phone and use the barcode and scan all the barcodes. Um, but there is there is an app. If you don't sell on Amazon, maybe uh, that's the best way to do it because then you'll be able to find on eBay. But use the barcode um, scanner on search on your eBay phone, on your phone, on your app. Next item, a thrifted item. Here you go. I love these. I just sold a pair of these new. And guess what? $21.99 for used Adidas golf shorts. A lot of people miss, skip out on these. Not me. If I can find these $365, they are the all over stretchy. These are actually the newer. They have the little Adidas right here on the, but they're stretchy all over. And that little Adidas symbol is tacky. That is in like, it's gross looking tacky. It's tacky as in sticky so when people do their golf swings their shirts stay tucked in they don't sell that show their gut off to everybody but these sold for 21.99 21.99 on these used golf shorts i paid 3.99 for these do i pick up travis matthew um i'm more i'm a lot more picky on travis matthew than i used to be i like picking up some travis matthew shorts some travis matthew pants and certain certain shirts but travis matthew is kind of Falling off a little bit because other brands have kind of taken its place. And I've been through the whole Travis Matthews cycle. I saw it when it came out. I saw it to its rise. Now I'm watching it fall. 
Uh, and I, and it's just going to be that way with a lot of different brands, a lot of different golf brands. Uh, here we go. Next one's going to be an auto posture sale. This is a brand I love keeping my eye out for. It's called Outdoor Research. Um, it's got an OR somewhere on there. There you go. You're going to look for that little OR right there. OR, Outdoor Research. I remember specifically this sold for um, $27.99. It's just a quarter zip. I specifically rem remember finding my first one. I found it with an Arteryx, and I didn't know the brand. And so I bought the Arteryx and I left it. And then I came home and I looked up the brand and I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I left that brand. We've been there. Like, I got to get back to that thrift store. It was gone. So I learned, I learned it that way. It, none of that suck. We've all been there. That's one of those times where I'm like, ugh. Ugh. All right. Next item. Boom. Next item was an auto posture sale. Someone took a best offer. So I just told you I sell all these for $42.99. I have a best offer on auto posture. I think right now set for 5%. Do you guys remember what it is? Um, and it automatically sends out offers to people interested. So it sold for $40.84. That's how I know it was an auto posture sale because it sold for not $42.99. I don't list these for $42 or $40.84. Um, I like to buy that beige heart crew neck from yesterday where can i shop that beige heart crew neck um are you confusing me with kway are you talking about kway um clever i think that's what you're talking about okay so there's that you better be careful selling textbooks right you should better be careful selling textbooks yeah i don't know i haven't i haven't sold a textbook since 2000 and probably eight um i knew abercrombie was on the popular because of a tiktok trend there you go flipping so Flippin was TikToking, doing her TikTok scroll. So the Abercrombie was on an uptrend. Definitely Y2K stuff is on an uptrend. Uh, I have, I have, the, I'm, I'm ready to go with my Abercrombie right now. Like, bring on the summer. I have my cargo shorts ready to go. Cargo Abercrombie and Fit shorts are a pickup if you can buy them cheap enough. Um, they sell for like anywhere. $25 for something like that, all the way up to 70 if they are like a size 36, 38 camo, they sell for a ton. Just check and make sure it's marked, going to mark. I look like a goofball in this hat. That's okay. Um, these cute, cute Air Maxes. Look at these little guys. Look at these little guys. I bought these when shoes were $1.99 at our Goodwills. Now they price, they price probably price these up to $15. So cute. Look at these little Air Maxes, right? What size are they? 10C. What, what? That's probably like 10C. That's probably like three, maybe. I don't know where my I don't know where my math is anymore with kids, but little kids. Um, those are going out first class ground. I'm actually just gonna put these in a poly mailer. They'll be just fine going out. Full zip Abercrombie hoodies are great. Yes. Also Abercrombie and Fitch full zip. Um, they're sweatshirts, but they have a uh, fur lining, like really thick, like inch fur. Those do well. Even in a Hollister, those do well. I'm going to tell you right now, like I said earlier, if you want to know a brand and what sells well in that brand, you literally just go to eBay, go to sold comps used, then sort from highest price to lowest. Go to the first few pages and you'll see those are going to be the items you're going to look for. Abercrombie & Fitch, you know, Cargo shorts that are camo, 100 bucks. Abercrombie and Fitch jackets that zip up with the fur lining, 100 bucks. Um, those are the things that you want to keep your eye out for. David, these are going to New York. So, how cute were those? Uh, Stacy, um, bu -bu -bu -bu. McCarter moved a pair of Nike Kobe Mama shoes this morning, claiming counterfeit. Why? Vanessa, what's up, Vanessa? Kizzy Mushroom, thanks for popping in. Um, I don't know, I don't sell on Macari yet. Um, I'm going to be selling on Mercari when I get back on spring break. So I don't know why that happened. People in the chat, you want to you wanna answer that for her on uh, TikTok? Um, I can't wait for George to come back in. Desti, George is never coming back in. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. I know on a Thursday you don't want to shed tears, but I just don't see it coming in. In fact, I would bet money. I would bet you a Disney vacation that it's not going to come back in. And I don't like betting. I'm not a betting guy. 
Um, this is an arsenal again. If you've been on here the whole time, I shipped out earlier on Poshmark a soccer or a football jersey. Um, again, Puma, they were Arsenal's like on their jerseys that year, whatever year this was. This sold for $29.99. So just a full zip track jacket, Arsenal, dotty dotty da type of thing. This is a padded flat rate envelope. Padded flat rate. Hear me out. We go buy one and it will boost. <laughs> go buy one. You're Desi, you better go live more and start promoting George. Uh, who's counter 15, 15 size 15 shoes? I know it's probably a bot. It's probably a bot, Vanessa. It had to be a bot. Um, wait, why bought uh, whole closet, George? No, you didn't. No, you didn't, Annie. Please don't tell me you did not buy a whole closet, full of George. I know you better than that. You did not do that. Um, what's up over there? I see a couple people on Instagram saying hi. I know you're, you're being quiet this morning. It's okay. It's the morning. Uh, you're awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, just be careful selling textbooks. Those Air Max might fit my big toe. <laughs> I know. You know what? They're cute, though. This was a good sale. Retail arbitrage, $50. I've spent $50 on this. I have a few of them left, and I sold it. I took the best offer for $160. $160 for this. So this is a Polo Ralph Lauren um, Madra. Not a Madras, but a Polo Ralph Lauren Patchwork blazer so all these are individual patches that are all uh sewn together very lightweight cotton there's your new tags um sold for 160 dollars so i'm gonna make close to 100 dollars on that item not bad um uh, why be careful selling textbooks yeah why be careful selling textbooks um whoever said that earlier uh whoever said that earlier why be careful selling textbooks uh matney why do why be careful doing that? This is going down at pad a flat rate. So you guys know Polo Ralph Lauren. I just it's my favorite. If I could date Polo Ralph Lauren, the brand itself. Not not Ralph Lauren, the brand. I would date the brand. If that's a possibility, I would do that. Good morning. What's up, Thirty Duckies? Um, we are just packing up our eBay orders. We had 12. If you're just now joining, you can always re-watch this on YouTube later on. Um, but we are just packing orders. So this is a really good example. If you've been watching me pack orders recently, I've been selling, check this out, brand new with tag, brand new with tag, North Face shorts, brand new with tag, North Face shorts with the drawstring. I've been selling these for $24.99. Why? Because I got these at the Dick's Sporting Goods sale and they were everywhere. They were all over the country. They were flooded. They made too much of these. They made too many. Made too much is because Lou Lemon comes out with that. That exact line. Here we go. North Face shorts. Same exact. I think these are exact same. They are the exact same. Same bottom. Drawstrings are the exact same. I'm going to show you they're the same because look at that tab. How many have that tab right there? Check this out. Tab. Exact same. These sold for $21.84. So I sold these used for $3 less than those. So that goes to show you, it just I, they're flooded. Those were flooded. That's why I have those priced so cheap. I was just talking about normally I sell uh, North Face shorts like this for in the 20s. $21.84, obviously that's an auto posture sale. Sent out an offer while I was sleeping. Someone took it and I didn't dream about it. So fire. What's up if my cat were in clothes? Your cat, they make clothes for cats. Missing high school wardrobe right now. I know, Joy. Annie, thank you. Um my high school my high school wardrobe was high school 2000 2004. So Abercrombie, a lot of Abercrombie Hollister, um Express. Uh, but before that, I wore Jinko and all that sort of stuff. Next sale, Carhartt. Again, they made too many of these at those Dick stores, so I sold these for um, $19.99. I don't pick up Carhartt shorts. Um, even they're $3.99 where I live. I don't. I don't pick them up for $3.99. I leave them behind. I know Carhartt's popular. You guys, let me know. I feel like it's coming down a little bit, unless it's like a Detroit jacket. But Carhartt's coming off just a little bit. Um, you could date Lauren Ralph Lauren. No, I don't want to date Lauren Ralph Lauren. I want to date Polo Ralph Lauren, not Lauren Ralph Lauren. Too low class for me. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Um, finally sold another bad birdie yesterday after sitting here. Watch Brad sell a dozen a day. <laughs> Andrew, was that from the same sale? I probably undercut you. Sorry. Um, every color of Aero Polos. <laughs> every color, Aeropostal Polos. Yeah, Aeropostal too. American Eagle. What are, you know, all those sorts of things back in the day. Going to that person? Yes, going to that person. Another item, and we're going to talk about this. Again, Dick Sale. But anything golf that has a pattern like this, geometric, floral, anything all over print is selling right now. It's hot in 2024. In 2023, it was hot. But that's the past. We're only looking for the future. Uh, I only got like six bad birdies. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. They'll sell. Andrew, once mine all sell, then yours will sell. That's how it works. I just decided to sell my cheap I could have held them and sold them for more. This is what it is. Uh, 2004 grad wore Abercrombie uh, Bitch Hollister and Pac Sun baggy jeans. I think they were called pipes. Those were, I wore pipes in, before 2000. But yes, pipes. They're, uh, they were like a um, cheaper Jinkos. That's what I wore. So those are going out the door. Um, how do you know when these stores have sales? So, Jennifer, good question. You need to figure out what the stores are that have sales. And then you need to, if they have an email list or a text message list, you need to be a part of those. Sign up for those. And then also you need to stay in touch with those stores. Call them weekly. Um, if they're close to your house, go into them. You need to stay in touch with those stores to see when they're having their sales. Get friendly with some of the workers there, that sort of thing. That's how you find out. Um, you got to do a little bit of work. Speaking of, Andrew, bad birdie. <laughs> Bad birdie. This one is a size small. My regret with that whole haul was um, I picked up a whole bunch from Dick's. I literally bought racks full of these bad birdies. I left almost all the smalls at the second store I went to because I was a little nervous. I was I spent a ton of money. I never spent that much money at a retail arbitrage before. I was a little bit nervous. And, and like the smalls have been selling better for me than any other size. So now I have regrets not buying all the smalls. This sold for, um, this sold for, oh, those sold for $3,609. That was an auto posture sale. I don't list anything for $3,609. $3,799 for this. $3,799. Might go to another location this weekend. Yeah. Um, yours are better patterns. Okay. I have, I'll show you my bad birdie box. I have a bad birdie bin. You guys love my inventory system. It's so good. So good. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at that inventory system. Oh, these are all brand new with tags, bad birdies. Look at that. But guess what? When a color way sells, I know where it is. That blue one, I know where the blue ones are. That color, I know where that color is. That's my bad birdie bin. That's my bad birdie bin. It might look bad to you, but it's good to me. Brandy, keep on your – your. Uh, here's a bolo. Keep your eye out for whatever it is. Todd Snyder. Todd Snyder is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Sells well. Todd Snyder has done a collab with um, with Champion. Those sell really well. Uh, but Sny Todd Snyder is good. Sell at Nordstrom. That sold for $32.99. It's just a long sleeve polo shirt. That's all it is. I have uh, I've only blue and one other. They'll sell. Bad Birdie is a – Bolo for sure. They'll sell. I picked up a ton of Columbia PFG fishing shirts. Left all the smalls. I regret that. Yeah. Regrets. What's up, Blended? I, I'm telling you guys, smalls sell. A lot of people skip out on smalls. They sell. Smalls sell. What's up, smalls? They sell. Um, next, Cotopaxi. Got these at the same thing. Same deal. Um, packed some of these earlier. $24.99. And uh, yeah. Bought them for, I don't remember how much. Not a whole lot. What size poly bag do you use for that shirt? So I have these exact poly bags. If you go to surfsupfinds.com, you'll see all the stuff I use. It says like Amazon, things I use at Amazon. Just click on that. And there are like 12 things in there. You'll see these. You'll see this. Um, I forget the exact size of this bag, to be honest. I don't know the dimensions. But go to surfsupfinds.com and uh, you'll see it. I don't have any merch. I'm not selling you anything there. So I don't do that thing. I don't do that sort of thing. 
let's look at what came in while we were on. Okay, so we got an, we have a another pair of cleats that sold. We have an offer on Polo Ralph Lauren silk linen blend, Polo Ralph Lauren silk linen blend linen blend pants. Forty nine ninety nine is my asking price. Forty nine ninety nine. They offered me thirty five. What am I going to counter with? Because I already know what I'm going to counter with. I was asking fifty. Their linen silk blend. They offered me thirty five. I'm going to counter with this, and I'm going to stick with this number. If they don't like it, then they're not going to buy it. I'm going to stick with this number. 45, 44, 44, 40, 42. Shy girl. Shy girl, you get it. You win. 42. I don't know why I always do 42. I always do 42. So I feel like that's like a good number. That almost might be in the middle. It is. That's that's that's. That's more towards them than the middle, right? That's seven off for them. Yeah, 42 bucks. So I countered that at 42. We'll see what they say. And then I have an offer on a G4 that I got. I can show you what it is. I'll probably. Okay. So I bought a whole bunch of these in Chicago while I was on vacation. G4. Quarter zip, brand new with tags with these little skulls on them, right? Um, I forget exactly how much I paid for them. I think I paid $25 a piece for them. I'm asking $80. They offered me $59. What would you do? I'm asking $79.99. They offered me $59. What would you, What are we going to make an offer, counter offer for? There's a lot of bootleg text. Okay. So asking about the textbooks, there are a lot of bootleg textbooks, so I stay away from personally to avoid lawsuits. Got you. How do you know when those sorts of sales got you? Easy to heard you uh, get Vero on eBay. Lots of tags, North Face, eBay. I've never been Vero with uh, 68, 70, 65, 63, 68, 69. Tampa, I stopped at you. Um, 69, 70, 69, 62, 69. Sounds like 69. That's that's in the middle. Ten dollars off uh, for me. Ten dollars more for them. We offer. We countered with sixty nine. We'll see what they come back as later on. So sold a couple things. Now it's time for listing. If you're just now joining in, I have these all saved on YouTube. They're all under my playlist of lives. You can watch all this stuff on lives. Appreciate you guys coming in as always. Um, if you are on Facebook, on YouTube. On TikTok, anywhere, go over to K-Way Shop right now if he's live. Let's see if he's live, that clown. And I want you to drop surfboards. Let's see if that clown's uh, – or what do we call him earlier? A uh... Oh, he's not even live. What a punk. He's not even live. What a punk. Um, yeah, that's too high. 69 was too high. That's okay. All right. He's not on, so we're not going to say hi. But I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Let's go and uh, get some sales today. Let's get some sales. Uh, if you don't have auto posture again, that's what's getting me a lot of sales right now. I recommend giving it a shot. Um, again, you get $5 off on searchofinds.com. There's a little button there. Or my link tree, if you guys know what that is. I didn't know what link trees were a year ago. He just got off 15 minutes ago. He can't, he can't go as long as me, you know? I mean, that's why I got the Dutchess. He just he can't go as long as me. Um, have a great day, everybody. See you guys later.